Because back to school time isn't just about moms and kids. I am so inspired today. I've got Gail and Lily here with me. These two young ladies are starting to explore their culinary skills. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing if I can learn a thing or two about you guys. So good morning, girls. Good morning. good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? <laughs> Doing great. I love experimenting in the kitchen now that I'm off to college and on my own. It's nice to have a bit more freedom. <laughs> With that freedom comes doing your laundry, doing your everything. Yeah, okay. oh, welcome to adulting. <laughs> How about you? I understand that you're an amazing baker wow. and a really little top chef in the kitchen. Thank you. Um, well, you can't have cupcakes and cakes for three meals a day. <laughs> that would not result well. No, that would not work well, which is why I'm gonna show you guys how to do super easy five ingredient or less recipes, stuff that you can do on the fly, on the go, in the dorm, wherever. We're gonna be doing this beautiful tomato okay. and mango mozzarella bruschetta. Do you guys know how to chop a mango? Could be better. Yeah. Could be better? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's see. <laughs> Mangoes are always, you know, you always see people trying to like peel it mm -hmm. and then cut it and guess what? It becomes a slippery slope, one that you can't win. Yep. So I always say, find your mango, look at the little, this we call the eye, touch that. Okay. It's got this little bubble over it, that is the eye. What does okay. that mean? That the pit is right behind Dead it. Center. So what we want to do is do the cheek to cheek dance. <laughs> and by that I mean we're going to cut out two cheeks. So, if the pit is right behind it, that means we go slightly off center. Okay. Okay. Right? Make Going into side. making that cheek <laughs> beautiful. This is super easy. Mm -hmm. Ideally, when you want these for a recipe like this that we're not cooking it, that you want it to look pretty because it's going to be a bruschetta, try and find the mango like where it's not too ripe because it becomes very stringy. Okay. So, the, the less stringy it is, the prettier the dice will look. Mm -hmm. Now. How about you scoop it out? All you have to do is put this in to go in like that All and right. keep taking it out. Perfect. And you want to be putting it in here. Juicy, it looks delicious. Juicy, Lucy, mm -hmm. yum. <laughs> now, what's nice about mango is that it's going to give you that slightly sweet, slightly tarty, mm -hmm. but it's going to add a lot of fiber to the recipe. So now, how about we mix everything up? So okay, perfect. You guys see we've got yellow tomatoes, mm -hmm. yellow, orange, whatever <laughs> you want to call them. Why don't you girls just put everything in? Go ahead. Perfect. We add some of the cilantro and some of the mini mozzarella balls, which okay. we've literally quartered. Go ahead, girls. And now we're going to make this recipe pop. And this is going to be very so simple. The fruity olive oil okay. and the star golden balsamic. This is what's going to take your recipe to the next level. Sweet. And it's all you need is few ingredients, but really good quality ingredients. Yeah. And we're going to toast the bread for about eight Perfect. to 10 minutes. So yeah. I'm going to take that. This mix this. This would be. You guys, a, yeah, finish that off. Okay, Thank perfect. you. This would be a great recipe to make when friends come over because everyone yes, can really help putting absolutely. it together. Absolutely. Have yes. a little cooking date. <laughs> I will be making this. <laughs> now, the magic of television. We've got these. Oops, nice careful. And nice and toasty. Put them on here. Now I need you girls to start scooping those up for me. And in the meantime, I want to show you guys these other two super easy recipes. So we got the black pepper popcorn. How fun is this? Right, yeah. Delicious, great for study night, mm -hmm. uh, great for movie night, yeah. or perhaps date night. Moms, <laughs> I didn't say that out loud. And this other, this is a brilliant recipe because this is our Mediterranean bruschetta with one jar you have almost all the ingredients that you need for this beautiful caramia artichoke salad. Right in a jar, all you have to do is toast some bread, put it on, and voila, you're like a little top chef. So how are we doing here? Great. Good. It looks delicious. It looks yeah. like we're almost ready to just drizzle some of the fruity, fruity, delicious olive oil on top. And so now we're using the same oil as a finishing oil. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty when you're working with a versatile product of high quality. You can use it to cook, but you use it as a finishing oil. It'll just oh, yeah. marry everything together. Okay. So Guess what? Time to, time taste. to taste. 
<laughs> Who's going first? Oh, I Who's will. on first? Let's do it. Take this one. Okay. I want to taste a little bit. It smells scrumptious. I'll take this one. And look at the colors. Here. Beautiful. Wow, that's amazing. For more delicious recipes, check out Star, the ultimate trusted experts in Mediterranean food at starfinefoods.com or our website, thebalancingapp.com. Right?